Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today we have Infineon in the lab. Now, this is an eval kit that was sent to me. It was sent to me, gosh, some time ago. I, was act I actually uh, requested it, and there's some time that went by before they could send it to me because I, I think they were out of them. They had to build them. So by the time I got it, I was on another project, and I just couldn't get to it. But I've had this... So I started working on these kind of converters a couple years ago. Did some videos, and then it's kind of gone quiet on this front. But I'm going to bring it back up because for our audio amplifiers and other types of loads, we're going to want this LLC converter. Now this is a 600 watt LLC, and it was sent by Infineon. Like I say, they sent the power engineers, you know, like myself, to evaluate, see if we want to use these kind of designs in our future projects and I've wanted to use this thing but I just haven't had a chance to get to it like I said I've been working on other things so uh, I'm going to show you what's inside this today we're going to take a quick look at this thing kind of go over some of the material so you can kind of get an idea of this now these are pretty complex designs these LLC converters we've been covering the bucks which kind of an entry level maybe you know for power supply stuff where this is kind of on the other end of the spectrum. Now, the buck converter, a lot of the important concepts we learned on that, they apply to these other converters. So that's why we started the buck. But I wanted to jump over to this because I want to start some projects. And I did a GAN converter like a year and a half ago, probably, with the LLC. This one is with MOSFETs, okay? But let's jump into this. Bring the camera over. I'm going to show you. This kit is a super, this is one of the coolest eval kits I've ever got. So uh, let's come over here and take a look. Okay, guys, this is the case that comes in really nice. And we're going to swing it around because all the goodies are on the bottom of this case. And there we are. Now, first of all, safety. Operating instructions, very important, right? Safety, we've got some high voltages here. And then the other thing is the startup guide. Let me open that up. So, really nice. They give the 600 watt, 12 volt LLC test instructions. How to fire it up. Pretty cool, we'll follow those. Anti-static protection. Okay, now this foam, it's epoxied or something into the box so it's not gonna fall out on you, that's nice. Now let's just zoom in on this area up here. You got the name tag here, what the, what's in this kit, and contact information, and then over here, important the name it's really neat how they burn that into the foam a usb stick with all the goodies i'm going to show you what comes on that and then this control card this is an analog control card if you get the digital version there'll be a digital control card and that control card plugs right into the board down here I'll show you the board in just a moment let's look over here so this little box right here is pretty cool they've given a really neat little uh part box that has a few parts in here, so that's nice. This is a very nice uh, kit they put together. Now let's go down and look at the board. All right, so let me just pull out the board. Now what's kind of nice is if you look down here, you know, say intention, please follow the startup guide to power up the board. <laughs> okay, and here's a little module. Here's a card, you know what? I'm gonna walk you through this card real fast. And then I'm going to show you the schematic and kind of show you where the things on the schematic are on this card. Okay. Uh, so basically the inputs right here, these two big old banana jacks. All right. And then the output lugs are right here. Big old beefy lugs. And then there's a fan. So that's pretty nice. Okay. Now let's just kind of walk through this. Uh, input power comes in, bulk capacitor, a film capacitor. Then the resonant capacitors, which I'm going to show you, the resonant parts, okay? Resonant capacitors, resonant inductor. And here's the switching FETs, the main switching FETs on this heat sink right here. Okay, and from this view, you can see that washer. It's on the heat sink there. You notice the one on the other side. It's keeping the heat sink up off the board. Okay, resonant capacitors and resonant inductor transformer, main switching transistors. Let's go look at the schematic and I'll show you where they are. All right, so now the schematic looks pretty busy. So let's 
not look at all this snap right now. Let's just look at this. This is a power train right here. Input power to the output. Switching FETs, main switching FETs. Power transformer. These guys are the ones on the heat sink I just showed you. There's the heat sink right there on the schematic. And here's the resonant inductor. And these two capacitors tied to one side of the transformer are the resonant capacitors. The other side of the transformer is tied to the resonant inductor, which is tied to the middle of these two switching transistors. Okay. All right, and so then what we do is we come out to the output of the transformer and there's this big heat sink. And underneath that heat sink are all the, and these are synchronous FETs rectifying the output, okay? And then this big old copper strap is the middle conductor taking the current from input to output. That's the other side of the output. And these are drive chips driving these switching transistors. All right, then on the output of the transformer here, we have our three synchronous FETs in parallel uh, off of the top of this winding. Off the bottom of this winding, we have three more synchronous FETs. And then we have these uh, labels right here, and that's tied to the drive chips, which are right here, okay? And then the center conductor comes up here big old strap brings the power out this way while the center of all these synchronous FETs bring the other power. So we have our two conductors here. They're going to go to a whole bunch of ceramic capacitors. You can see all the labels right here and you see this uh, narrow plates here on this capacitor that shows a ceramic capacitor. Then we have our LC filter and these have a plus sign plus the dark plates. So that's uh, bulk capacitors, electrolytic type. All right. So then off of all these synchronous FETs and the drive chips and the strap, they come out and we have all these ceramic capacitors lined up along here. This heat sink is on the top side of the board sucking the heat out of those synchronous FETs on the other side. And then here's our LC filter, our big inductor, and then our bulk capacitors. All right, then we flip this board over. Okay, the feedback, it comes over and it goes through an optical coupler. And then there's some over voltage feedback that goes through an op amp, does some comparison for current and voltage, and it comes through this optocoupler. And then this guy in the middle between the two optocouplers is another isolation device, which is a drive chip driving these drive chips up here, driving the synchronous FETs. This guy synchronizes the drive uh, from the control chip over here on the primary, which I'll show you. But just Part of that feedback, those resistors down there, they're current sense resistors. And let me go on the schematic and show you all that stuff. All right, so on the schematic, what we have is our feedback. It's coming from here, over here, and going to the soft coupler to our, our primary side. And then the over voltage is coming through here and coming through this op amp and comes up to this point, which eventually goes through all this stuff in order this optocoupler. There's also that those two sense resistors I showed you up here for current sense. Those signals come down here through this chip and it's compared and it goes, so these two signals go together through this fault optocoupler, which is, you know, a fault over voltage or over current. Then all these signals are coming over here to feed into this chip, which is really a module. And that's the module that would be this part that mounts onto the board. So all those signals would come up into this chip. I'll show you the schematic for this. But basically, it's just a bunch of signals coming in here that is going to the control chip. So all that stuff would be coming up to this control chip right here. And these are the support parts, R's and C's that set up everything. And those are the pins that are represented on that little box on the schematic. Here's the, the little box with the pins that come out on that card. Now these two signals come to this, and this is a drive chip just like we had on the output driving the two FETs up above. So these two signals and this one, these three signals, go to the drive FETs right up above and drive these two switching FETs. And there's a few little parts I left out. There's a resistor and a LED just to show that we have output power. This is a little regulator here to create a 5 volt reference for those control chips down below. And this is the voltage monitoring of the input voltage 
which is feeding into all this other air stuff that comes from this side and all this stuff ties together for this fault condition and this is another resistor and LED for the voltage on the 15 volt output which is another card another module which is this guy right here in the middle that I haven't talked about all right so the last thing I think I haven't talked about I mean there's little things here and there of course but this module or this box right here which is the other module on the board which you've probably noticed there's optocouplers the one for the feedback the one for the the faults from the secondary side and then there's the isolated boundary here for the sync signals to come over here driving the synchronous FETs on the other side there's a transformer up here and our Y capacitor all these things are on the isolation barrier so primary circuitry here primary side voltage secondary side voltage on this side all right so main transformer right here white cap right here there's a thermistor on the transformer by the way and then right through here is the isolation barrier with all these the optocouplers the drive chip so right through here and this module right here is right on the isolation barrier this is actually a flyback regulator uh, giving us power that we need to run the circuitry 12 volts on the secondary side so it's taking 400 volts from the primary or whatever's coming in it's actually providing a 15 volt for this side for the circuitry on this side and then a 12 volt for the circuitry on this side so that's what we call a housekeeping power supply just to keep all the housekeeping voltages up and then lastly i just want to show you the fan it's pretty nice and I, I just want to point out how small these heat sinks are for a 600 watt power supply pretty darn small this guy here just for all the output transistors and this guy here which is, look how small it is compared to my thumb it's just got two to 220 devices on it so you can see how small it is that's how efficient this is that's how smart of a design it this is you can see how small the magnetics are just very smart uh, design work but I also wanted to show you the circuitry underneath the fan. This is for the fan control. So it's not just a simple power on. There's some voltage for it. And there's some smarts to when the fan turns on and off. Okay, so what I want to do is just take you through some of the documentation. This is the general description of this evaluation board. Let's just scroll through it. Now here's a nice little description. 12 volts at 50 amps out. That's crazy. Uh, peak efficiency, 50%. Load, 97.4. 10% is 94. So that's pretty darn cool that you get efficiency at both 10% and 50%. It's not easy to do. And you can see the description of the parts there above. Now here we go, look at the board, you've seen the board. Here's a list of the specs right here on the left side, 600 watts, resident frequency 157. It's gonna, it can range from min to max 90 uh, kilohertz to 210 kilohertz. There's the resident components, the values, the capacitor and the inductor and the transformer. All right, now here's the two different control boards, analog or digital. We have the analog on this one. And here's the board. Pretty cool. There's the bias board, the one with the flyback transform for the housekeeping voltages. One on the left is the control board. And it kind of shows you where they get populated. There's a schematic we've seen before. Here's a schematic we have not seen. This is one for what they call the bias board or what I was calling the housekeeping board, but it's just flyback regulator. One way you can always tell is when this transistor turns on, it's inside this control chip, the dot is down and the dot is up on the output. So they're reversed. So that's flyback. So yeah when this guy gets charged up the inductor on this side of the transformer and then there's no conduction over here because it's reverse polarity on the diode then when this transistor turns off and flies back the energy through the primary winding then 
the energy is transferred to the secondary winding and it conducts. And up here on the top, these two windings are for plus and minus voltages for, and they're on the primary side. You can see the grounds tied together right here. So that's just for the voltages on, this, on the primary side. And this 12 volts is for the secondary side. And there's a schematic for the analog control board. Now here's an important thing. This is what they call the 80 plus titanium efficiency uh, curves. So you got the efficiencies here at about 10 amps and 25 amps, which is 50% load and then 50 amps, which is 100% load. So you want to meet all three of those things to get this uh, titanium standard. Here's design concept. Here's some equations for the transformer, the resonant tank equations. Uh, here's some gain curves. This stuff we'll talk about in the future. It's it gets pretty complex. Let's walk you through these equations so you can take a look at them, see the documentation, how thorough it is, transformer design, photographs of the board, and some more technical material. All right, guys, this application note, I'm just going to scroll through this. Not going to be easy to read. I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like, okay? This chart right here compares a full bridge to this half bridge LLC. Uh, a lot of the places a full bridge looks better, but for efficiencies, this half bridge looks better, which is in red. The full bridge is in blue. Now, over here, these last three things are essentially complexity. And you can see this LLC half bridge is a little more complex design. So, but other than that, it excels in the bomb and in efficiencies. And there's the basic schematic, some principles there. Really interesting stuff if you're into designing this kind of stuff. But uh, we're going to go through this just so you, you know, you have a feel for what these things do and how they behave. There's some waveforms. Like I said, this is just a quick walkthrough. And here's the LLC tank. This is a simplified version. So you have your LL, which is resonant inductor, LR, and LM, the inductance of the transformer, and the C, which is that CR. That's why they call it LLC. Here's the resonant curves. Like I say, it's fairly complex. We're gonna go talk about more of this as time goes on. So this is what they call zero voltage switching, which is how you get your soft switching on your primary side. Bunch of equations, transformer information, very in depth, like I said, more photographs, which this app, these uh, Infinity and app notes are very complete, very nice. Some more actual waveforms. Shows losses, and this is at different types of loads, 10% there on top, 50% on the bottom. That's how you get that rating of high efficiency across loads, which is important. All right, guys, like I say, this is just a quick walk through. Uh, the next video, we're going to do some testing of this, power it up, look at some signals. I'm going to break it down and talk about different parts of the circuit. Eventually, uh, you, you, I hope to give you a good understanding of how these things work, okay? And if you want to design one, hopefully it'll help you design one, okay? Well, hey, I want to thank my patrons. Big thumbs up for my patrons. And for all you guys watching the videos, commenting below and all that stuff, really appreciate that. Let me know what you think of this and if you're really interested in seeing more of these things. Uh, because I could break, you know, we're going to see some more videos, but I just want to know how many more videos you want to see of this stuff. How interested you are. And that might help me define the kind of videos in the future that I'll show with this. Okay? Alright, 
Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.